And now I would like to invite Commission, Commissioner Sinkevich. Madam President, honorable members, thank you very much for this very useful and fruitful exchange. I have taken very good note of your intervention and comments. Thank you in particular for your strong political support to move our circular economy agenda forward. I'm reassured to see that we share the common objective of harnessing the circular economy potential to deliver on the European Green Deal together. Let me very briefly pick up just a couple of the issues you raised during this debate. Plastics, textiles and implementation of our ambitious agenda. First on plastics. Within the new circular economy action plan, we will ensure the swift implementation of the 2018 EU plastic strategy, in, and it will take follow-up measures. Measures to restrict the use of intentionally added microplastics in products and to tackle unintentional emissions, for example, from textiles and tire uh, abrasion, and from primary plastic produ uh, production. Also requirements to ensure that all plastic packaging in the EU market is reusable or recyclable and economically viable manner by 2030. Also requirements on recycled content and waste reduction measures taking into account the activities of the Circular Plastics Alliance. Hence, a policy framework for biodegradable and bio-based plastics. Last, implementing measures on single-use plastics. Now on textiles. We are addressing the textile sector due to its strategic position in the EU economy and its large environmental impact. In the context of the COVID-19 crisis, this is also one of the sector that would offer opportunities for recovery since it's the key in many countries that were severely hit by the pandemic. Textiles is the fourth highest pressure category for resource use of primary raw materials and what are taking place mainly outside the EU. In addition, the majority of textiles currently end up in landfill or uh, incineration. Only a very small percentage is recycled. So we are planning to develop a comprehensive strategy in cooperation with all relevant stakeholders in Europe and beyond. More generally on implementation. The transition towards a circular economy requires the committed involvement of the widest range of stakeholders. It's crucial to improve the flow information along the value chain and to bring together key actors that can share common challenges and barriers so that, can, uh, so that they can uh, learn from each other. The different services of the Commission and of national administration have also taken up this approach. It's not unusual that the circular economy agenda is led jointly at national level by the ministries for the environment and for the economy or industrial policy. And let me be very clear. We will be successful uh, with the circular economy action plan only if we implement it hand in hand with the member states and deliver our common agenda together. I look very much forward to continuing our close constructive cooperation now that we will roll out and work on the various legislative proposal in implementing our circular economy action plan batteries on which in the european parliament will hopefully uh, work will start hopefully soon is the first one and several other proposals will follow in the course of the year thank you for your attention Thank you very much, Mr. Commissioner. Thank you, colleagues. So the debate is closed and the vote will be held tomorrow.